A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Friday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time and the Memorial of St. Robert Bellarmine. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Father Alfredo Rollon, Jr., SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to the Sacred Heart will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening, my dear sisters and brothers. Good evening, Father. In the Second Vatican Council, the role of uh, the laity as missionaries were or is emphasized because it is rooted in the life of those who follow Jesus, that they accompanied him when they go from one town to another to proclaim the good news, to invite people to believe in him and enter the kingdom of God. And so with this, we ask the Lord to strengthen the missionary spirit in all of us. And may we ask the Lord for forgiveness if there are times that we fail to fulfill our calling as missionaries of Jesus. And with this, we call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion as we pray. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, words in, what in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault, fault Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In our Eucharistic celebration, we ask the intercession of St. Robert Bellarmin, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, whose memorial we celebrate today. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the Bishop, St. Robert Bellarmin, with wonderful learning and virtue, to vindicate the faith of your church, grant through his intercession that in the integrity of the same faith, your people may always find joy through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. 
Beloved, teach and urge these things. Whoever teaches something different and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the religious teaching is conceited, understanding nothing, and has a morbid disposition for arguments and verbal disputes. From these come envy, rivalry, insults, evil suspicions, and mutual friction among people with corrupted minds who are deprived of the truth, supposing religion to be a means of gain. Indeed, religion with contentment is a great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, just as we shall not be able to take anything out of it. If we have food and clothing, we shall be content with that. Those who want to be rich are falling into temptation and into a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires which plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils, and some people, in their desire for it, have strayed from the faith and have pierced themselves with many pains. But you, man of God, avoid all this. Instead, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in evil days when my wicked ensnarers ring me round? They trust in their wealth. The abundance of their riches is their boast. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself or pay his own ransom to God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive always and not see destruction. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, when the wealth of his house becomes great, for when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall not join the circle of his forebears, who shall never more see light. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, the wife of Herod's steward Chusa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good evening, my dear sisters and brothers. The account of Luke about the journey of Jesus or the missionary Jesus, mission, mission of Jesus, is very brief now in today's gospel. It was mentioned here that Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. As I said, it's very simple or simply illustrated by St. Luke. There is no much detail about how he did it, what is the technique that was employed by Jesus. No emotion, no. not so much drama. But by the description of proclaiming good news from one town and village to another, we can see here that he is indeed a man or a God with a mission and in a mission. This time, it is calling people. This time, it is revealing to them the plan of God, the coming of the kingdom, our salvation. And so here we can see that indeed Jesus is with a mission. And through this account, it also reveals to us the companions of Jesus and how Jesus trusts people no matter what status and gender they have. It is the ordinariness, the simplicity of the people whom he called the Twelve. Their mastery is, of course, of different disciplines, but not about faith, not about religion, not about scholarly works. And yet Jesus allowed them to accompany him. You know, this morning I had a, a mass with our um, associate students. Ito yung mga graduate na ng kanya-kanyang kurso at pumasok sa seminaryo. At sabi ko sa kanila, See, here in the seminary, in your time of formation, you have to remove whatever expertise or mastery that you have. And then you have to relearn or learn new things. Of course, I said, later on, you may go back to what your expertise are. But since you are in formation, there is only one master that we have to follow. And that is our Lord Jesus Christ. And it happened with the apostles of Jesus, with the twelve. They were fishermen, experts of their own trade. Matthew, more likely, is good in numbers and money because he was a collector of taxes. 
and later on he proved it in the way he put words together. Others are definitely very aware of the social and political conditions that they have. And yet, here they are, you know, companions of Jesus. They left their individual missions in life you know, and followed Jesus. And also, not only the twelve, but women. There were some commentaries that tell us about the role, the background, how women were treated in the time of Jesus. And sadly, no, ganun pa rin ang mga nangyayari sa atin. But Jesus allowed them to participate in the way they know best. And what is that? To take care of people. See? Suddenly it becomes what? A talent. Suddenly it becomes a necessity. They may not be expert on many things, but they know how to fill the stomach <laughs> of the hungry. And of course, not only that, but also to lift up one's spirit because you know that somebody is taking care of you. It's true with the mission and it's true with life. Our energy at times comes from those who take care of us, from women, mothers, sisters, aunties, daughters, friends. In our mission, benefactors. And when I was reflecting on this gospel, I can't help but recall people who have worked with us, especially when we were, or I was, in the foreign mission. The Mrs. Wong, <laughs> the Mrs. Ao, the Mrs. Tang, the Mrs. Choi. No? The Miss Yok. Meron ako isang parishioner, no? Too often that after a Mass, she will tell or say to me, Father, thank you. And I thank your parents because they allowed you to become missionaries. You're doing things that we cannot do. You're doing things that somehow allow us to feel the presence of God in their midst. A very humbling experience. Or once in a while you will go to your office and then you will already see a thermos of soup on your table. Oh, sa parokya, wag kang uubo during the Mass. At sigurado, pagkatapos mong umubo sa misa, meron na mag-aabot sa'yo ng isang bote ng pepako. <laughs> Yung nimjom pepako. O kaya naman, ay may magpapadala na sa iyo ng mga candy para mawala ang iyong sakit sa lalamunan. And of course, the prayer and the support. And now it's the same thing happening here in our situation. The support of people, your support, allows us to continue the endeavors, the missionary endeavors that Jesus has entrusted to us. Your presence, your encouragement. Pag nanunood kami, tinitinan namin yung mga views, o may mga reply pa. Alam nyo, sa ating misa, marami ang nakikisabay. Kaya pag sinabi mong may ang sagot ay Amen, may mga nagta-type din ng Amen at makikita mo yon na naka-flash. And all of these are indications that Jesus is indeed right when He allowed people to participate in His mission. Kayo ay mga bahagi ng pagpapahayag ng mabuting balita ng Panginoon. Salamat. Hindi man ako si Kristo. 
ay salamat sa inyo. And you are continuing the role that these women mentioned by Luke in the Gospel, taking care of the missionaries, taking care of people, taking care of the church, so that this proclamation from one town to the other, from one village to another, will be continued. And so that is the story that we have tonight. We have Jesus who is so focused on his mission. Jesus who go from one place to another, knowing the importance and the urgency of the message of his salvation. Jesus trusted people. In our standard, you may say that, oh, they are not much scholarly or learned. But in the end, they are willing to be changed. They are willing to learn. They are willing to sacrifice their own lives. And of course, here highlighting some women who help in the mission by doing what they can, by giving what they have. And in a very positive sense or note, this is, is still happening right now. At salamat po sa mga taong patuloy na nakikibahagi no, sa pagpapalaganap ng mabuting balita sa pagpapahayag ng kaligtasan at paggawa ng kabutihan, pagsuporta upang may pagpatuloy natin ang misyon na ipinagkatiwala sa atin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Please rise. Full of hope and confidence, we make our prayer to God the Father, anxious for an increase of His presence in our life, and we pray, use us for Your work, O Lord. Use us for Your work, O Lord. That the Church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. We pray, Use us Use for your work, work, O Lord, Lord, that as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God, even in our difficulties and trials. We pray. <laughs> Use, Use us, us for, for your, your work, work, O Lord, Lord, that children may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. We pray. Use, Use us, us for, for your, your work, work O Lord. Lord, that the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering Christ. We pray. Use, Use us, us for, for your, your work, work, O Lord. Lord, for all of us, that we may remain healthy and strong to weather this ordeal physically, emotionally, psychologically, financially, and spiritually. May we not give in to fear or panic. May we be agents of love and service to those in need during this pandemic. We pray, use, use us, us for, for your, your work, work, O Lord, Lord, that our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. We pray, use us for your work, O Lord, in silence, we pray for our other intentions. We pray, use us for your work, O Lord. Heavenly Father, help us grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your words so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
as we open our hearts to receive your forgiveness, O Lord. Lord, we lift up to you all these gifts we offer for your glory. And feel your presence, O Lord As we offer these breads And as we bring you this wine Bless them, Lord Jesus Feed us now, give us life Send us your Spirit The source of our lives Together we will serve you with love. As we offer these bread and as we bring you this wine, bless them, Lord Jesus. Feed us now, give us life, send us your spirit, the source of our lives. sisters and brothers that may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on this day of blessed Robert Bellarmine be pleasing to you O God for taught by him we to give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. Robert de Larmine, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesta, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be, be with you. Lamb of God, you take away, away the, sins the sins of the, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Body of Christ. Amen. Ang sinumang sa akin na nanahan 
mananahang di na ko sa kanya. At kung siya'y mamunga ng masagana, siya sa may nagbigay ng karangalan. Sa dilim at kababayan, ang kaibigay magalay ng sarili niyang buhay, walang hihi sa yaring pagalay. Sa inyo'y aking ipinadarama Sa pag-ibig ko kay ko sana'y manahan At bilin ko na kayo'y magmahala At di magkababaan Ang kaibigay mag-aalay Nang sarili niyang buhay Walang hihikit sa yaring pag-aalay Mamungat bunga mo'y panatilihin Humayo ka't mamunga ng masagana Kagala kang walang hanggang ipamamana Let us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Robert Bellarmin, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Savior 